Hello, welcome to another edition of Bullseye. Who's is this? Is that, that is a purr. That is a very fine purr. The bloke who, who grew this must have had very green fingers. If you ask, green fingers, yeah, green fingers. You know who it is? It'll be Tony Green. Yay! <laughs> Have you lost that? Have you lost that? That's where it is. How many times I've got to tell you you get nothing for a purr? Not in this game. Oh, <laughs> no, I'm going. Yourself. Come on, let's play our Dutch rights. <laughs> Listen, Team One, how are we? Paul and Anita. OK. Nice to see you. All the way from Hampshire. Yep. Oh, yeah, come a long way, haven't you? Um, and your brother and sister. Yes. That's oh, nice. Sorry. Don't get many brothers and sisters on. What do you do for a living, mate? I'm a carpenter. Carpenter, self employed? I'm employed. What do you do? Kitchens? Kitchens, bathrooms, yep. All that. Fantastic. And Anita, yes. what do you do? I'm a public transport manager. On the buzzes, like? Yeah. Oh, sorting the buzzes out. Or what, uh, what? Making sure they run on time and all yes, that? Yes, yeah. <laughs> 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 There's somebody doing that. That's oh, yes. Brilliant. That's brilliant. Uh, tell us about you like your practical jokes, don't you? Yeah, we had some local people working up the road and we had uh, all the street signs and flashing lights and everything in uh, the garden. Did you? Yes. And, I bet uh, you were popular. Yeah. <laughs> the I went back every conceivable road sign. The only thing that was missing were the traffic lights. And the traffic, presumably. <laughs> yeah. But they were gridlocked on the road, not knowing where to go. Practical, I love practical jokes. So if you've seen other shows, I love a practical joke. Here's one for you. Get an air dryer. Wear something dark, go and stand on the streets and point it at cars. <laughs> <laughs> I really hate that. And each and Paul enjoy the show. Welcome to Bullseye. <laughs> Jamie and Paul. Hello. Oh, all right, lads. Where are you from? Ipswich. All the way from Ipswich, yeah, travellers today. Now, uh, Jamie, what do you do? I'm just a salesman. For? Um, white Goods Company. White Goods, so well done, well done. And what, do you, what are your hobbies? Um, computers, football. Computers, so what? Yeah. Adult sites, that sort of thing. Never, <laughs> never. Never, no, no. You told me that's where you found bulls are. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, what do yes. you do? I'm a distribution manager for a fuel distribution company. Oh, is that as exciting as it sounds? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're into football and computers yes, as well. Absolutely. I wanted to move on to this because there was this incident, wasn't there? Oh, what happened? Was it a summer's night? Uh, it was, yeah. Had a round of golf, a few bevies, very warm, walking home. Thought it was a bit too warm. Yeah. T-shirt comes off. Still a bit too warm. <laughs> Trousers. Yeah. Still a bit too warm. Yeah. Just ant me shoes. Just your shoes. Just me shoes. Not that drunk then. Get no. your shoes on that sense. Oh yeah. <laughs> Get your shoes on that blisters. sensible, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. You don't want your blisters, do you? He turns round. Yeah. Laughing. L laughing. Fall down the curb. You fell off the curb. <laughs> Broke my elbow. Broke your elbow. <laughs> 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 Brilliant, that's a great story. Enjoy your time on Bulls, I'm okay. sure you will. Jamie and Paul. <laughs> Hiya, Carl and Sarah yeah. uh, from Telford. Yeah, yep. so you've come our way as well from Telford. Carl, what do you do? I'm a project manager for the prison service. Which involves? Um, IT related projects, putting new IT suites in prisons and helping with training. And training and, and all yeah. that. Oh, that's, yeah. good. that's a good job, isn't it? Well done. Sarah, what do you do? I'm a civil servant. I work for the local job centre. Job centre. Again, I wanted to move on to the story because it's a great story about the funeral. <laughs> we was at a funeral of um, a family friend a few years ago and we was at the burial and I put my bag down on the ground and Carl didn't see it and turned around and kicked it and it fell into the grave. <laughs> <laughs> so before they could fill the grave in, they had to get the grave digger and dangle him in the grave by his ankles <laughs> to get my bag out. <laughs> oh, that's funny, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Death can be funny, can't it? <laughs> Sarah and Carl. Our contestants, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to play Bullseye! <laughs> it's the category, boy. Ten categories, each divided into three bonus series of £30, £50 and £100. The Dirt player can win the bonus by hitting the category their brains has chosen. If they hit the Bullseye, they automatically win. Get this, £150. <laughs> Correct answers in the first round are worth an additional £30. Anita, pick a subject, please, for Paul. Faces, please. Faces. OK, Paul, faces it is. Best of luck. That's £50 in faces, Dave. Great start. Well £50 done. bonus. For £30, what position in line to the throne is this man? Third. Well done. No hesitation. £30, that's earned you. 
Paul. Listen. Okay, Jamie, there you are. Best of luck. Yes, that's £30 in Britain, Dave. Britain for £30. Which English county is known as the Garden of England? Uh, Kent. It is Kent. Well done, £30. <laughs> Sarah, please. Showbiz, please. OK, Carl. Best of luck. No, it's not in showbiz. It's gone in sport and the subject's there, Dave. The subject's still there, so you get the question. Which football team is nicknamed the Toffees? I haven't got a clue. I can pass. Paul's lights, come on. Everton. It is Everton. He picks up another £30. <laughs> Very early days, of course. Let's have a quick look at the score. In the lead at this stage, Paul and Jamie with £90. Round two, this time the questions are worth £50 each, but we've lost faces, Britain and sport from the board. Remember, the ones that are lit are the ones you can hit. OK, Anita, pick another category, please. Showbiz, please. Showbiz. Paul? Yes, £50 in showbiz, Dave. Throwing well for an additional £50. Answer this question. What was the name of the UK's first ever Big Brother winner? No, I can offer. Paul. Craig. It was Craig. Craig Phillips, but I would accept Craig for £50. <laughs> and it's your turn, Paul. Would you like to pick the subject for Jamie? Uh, words, please. OK, words it is. That's £100 in words. <laughs> the £50 question on words. Which word describes the scientific study of sound production and sound waves? Radiography. It's not. I can pass. Anita. Acoustics. Acoustics. Well done for £50. <laughs> yeah. Sarah, would you like to pick a category for Carl, please? History, please. History. History, Carl. Yes, that's £30 in history, Dave. £30 bonus. You well needed done. that for an additional £50. Which Italian explorer is said to have discovered the new world in the 14 and 1500s? Christopher Columbus. Well done. Oh. Took that from somewhere, didn't you? <laughs> 50 pounds. <laughs> Another quick look at the scores. We've had two rounds now and still in the lead, Paul and Jamie with 240 pounds. Round three now. The questions are worth 100 pounds. We've only got science, world, books and spelling left. Anita, pick a subject. Books, please. Books. OK, Paul. There it is. Books. Yes, 50 pounds in books. You've done well, Paul. He's thrown very well, hasn't he? £100. In Jonathan Swift's Gulliver's Travels, what is the Christian name of the title character Gulliver? John. It's not John. I can offer for £100. No, I'm going to have to tell you. Oh, Sarah's lights, come on. David. It's not David. On a quick guess, Paul? Christopher. It's not. It's Lemuel. Lemuel. <laughs> <laughs> Your turn, Paul. Pick a subject, please, for Jamie. Uh, world, please. World. OK, then, Jamie. You're looking at the world. <laughs> no, it's gone into sport. The subject's gone. I'm looking... Mr Catterick, you miss a turn. Sarah. World, please. OK, Carl. Once again, world. <laughs> no, that's in showbiz and that subject's gone. I'm lucky. Mr Catterick, and you miss a turn. Let's look at the scores at the end of the category round. Sarah and Carl, £80. And Easter and Paul, £230. But in the lead, Paul and Jamie, £240. <laughs> on we go. Pounds for points. The three duck players compete against each other on a traditional match play duck board. The player who scores the most points wins a question for their partner. A correct answer wins the cash equivalent of the duck score. An incorrect answer or a pass means I'll offer it to the team with the next high score. It's over to you, Tony. OK, Paul, up to the hockey. Just take your time, settle in, score as many as you can. Best of luck. It's treble one, three. One. And five. Well, that's just nine points. OK, Jamie. It's 12. Treble 20 and 9. Well, you've done very well. You've got 81. OK, Carl, that's the score to beat, 81. 1. Treble 10. 
and one, which gives you 32. So with 81, Jamie takes the first round. In. OK, Paul, to extend your lead for £81, the song Take My Breath Away is featured in which 1986 movie? Top Gun. Top Gun, £81. Back to you, Tony. <laughs> OK, Paul. Here we go, second round. One. Twenty. Another one, 22, either side of the wire, unlucky. OK, Jamie. Score 22 to me. Five. One. And three. Four was missing. OK, that was just nine. OK, Carl, so just 22 to beat. That's nine. 20, and another 20, so 49 takes the round, Dave. So, to get you back in it, 49 pounds, the Rio Grande separates which two countries? Mexico and America. Mexico and America gets you 49 pounds. <laughs> back to you, Tony. OK, this is it. Third final round, and it's all resting on this round. Come on, Paul. 20. One. And 20 gives you 41. OK, Jamie. Five. Treble one. And 20, which gives you 28. So, Carl, 41 is the score to beat. Treble one, I'm looking. That's out the board. And 20, 23. So with 41, Paul takes the final round. <laughs> Anita. For 41 pounds. Which colourful female has had hits with Get the Party Started and Family Portrait? Pink. It is pink. Colourful singer, isn't she? <laughs> well done. Let's have a look at the scores at the end of pounds for points. Sarah and Carl, £129. Anita and Paul, £271. But the winners are going through to Bully's prize board tonight with a total of £321. It's Paul and Jamie. <laughs> so it's bye for now to Anita and Paul and Sarah and Carl. In you come. Come on, please. <laughs> Pretty good game. <laughs> Enjoyed that. Well done. You don't go away empty handed. You each get your bendy bullies, your dirts, your tankards there from House Halls, plus your DVDs, your games, your bullseye t-shirts from casualtea.co.uk. And you also get the money that you won in the first two rounds, which for Sarah and Carl was £129, and for Anita and Paul was £271. That's very impressive. It's not bad at all, is it? Still to come, Bullies Prize Board, the Star Prize Gamble, and another special guest is going to throw for charity. We'll see you very soon. <laughs> Mr Bullseye, time for a star guest to raise some money for good causes. It's the Bronze Bully round. A guest player throws nine darts and whatever they score will give to charity. If you can get 301 or more, you know what, we'll double it. Throwing for Paul and Jamie is a player who's enjoyed a string of successes throughout his career, including four Cheshire Open wins, two World Cup appearances for England, a Swiss Open title, and he was an embassy semi-finalist in 2004. Please welcome Tony Silverback O'Shea. <laughs> Right, Just settle yourself in. Don't go until you're ready. OK. That's it. Best of luck, Tony. It's treble one. I'm lucky. One. And 20. We're done with that first one. Just a fraction away. So, 24. Treble 20. 20. And 20, 100. That's more like it's one. You can still do it, you know. Still double. 124. 20. 
20. And treble 20, 100. <laughs> 224, Tony. Great, right, Tony. Coming on, man. Oh, my pleasure, mate. My you pleasure. happy with that? You're never happy with it. Are you? No, no. I wanted to do that. I first, to do that it. first three darts, one at eight. Yeah. You, you, I mean, you represented. I said you represented England in two World Cups. How does this compare? This is scary, mate. Is Trust it? me, this is scary. <laughs> <laughs> How did you get this nickname? This, because I don't know where this comes from. Is it Silverback? Uh, well, do you want the clean version or? Oh, I think we want the uh, the real version, mate. The real version, right? Okay. <laughs> uh, many years ago, <laughs> travelling the country playing darts, obviously for different dart teams, there was a. Uh, a little known sport called mooning. Right. And um, I was given the nickname Silverback because I had the airiest bottom in the team, so uh, that's, <laughs> that's where it came from. The Silverback Gorilla type Actual thing, Silverback though. Gorilla. The Silverback Gorilla himself, Tony O'Shea. <laughs> hey. And listen, let me introduce Jamie and Paul. Paul. This is Tony. Hi, They're uh, through to Bullish Prize Board tonight. Where's the money going, lads? It's going to the NSPCC full stop campaign. Excellent. £224 on its way there. Good to see this guy. Fantastic meeting you, man. Well done on the show. Ladies and gentlemen, Tony O'Shea. Well done, man. Yeah. Turn into the green <laughs> room. And now, oh yes, it's time for Bullish Prize Board. Guarantee Smiles is your downloading files on this iGo MP4 player. And two. Finding lost keys will be done with ease if you win this fucking metal detector. And three. This is no consolation prize. Dear me. It's an Atari Games console complete with 20 classic games. And four. The stuff in this basket is really fantastic. It's a luxury pack food hamper. And five. Light up the dark whilst you're having a lark with this Math Boss bubble lamp. Six. Use your loaf and try and win this. It's a Breville bread maker. And seven. Off to a dance, then why not press your pants with this cordy trouser press? And eight. Get as fit as you like on this exercise bike from Carl Lewis. And Bully's special prize. Sing when you're winning with this karaoke machine from karaokecompany.co.uk. Well, nine prizes, nine darts, and remember what we say. Stay out of the black and keep in the red. You get nothing in this game. Yeah. Jamie, you to throw first. OK, Jamie, settle in. First of the nine, just light it up. That's black. Black. And black again. Well, let's see what Paul here can do. Clear board so far, Paul. Yes, that's red number seven. The trouser press. <laughs> 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 yeah. No hang ups. That's black. Oh, whoops. Oh, oh. <laughs> Nearly green. <laughs> okay, Jamie, three darts left. Let's have three prizes. And lucky that's just black. That's red, it's number four. It's the hamper. And red number one. The MP4 player. The recovery. <laughs> OK, not bad, not bad. Let's have a look what well, you've won. The trouser press, the hamper and the MP4 player. <laughs> you've got £321. You've won three prizes on Bullish Prize Board. It's the moment of truth. Would you like to gamble all that against the star prize that's hiding behind our deck board doors? You must score 101 or more with six darts, as you know. If you win, you get the prizes, your winnings and the star prize. If you lose, well, you've had a good day out, but you're going home out. Apart from your bullies, your tankers and your dirt sets. You've got the time it takes for the board to revolve to make your mind up. I'll ask the audience for some advice. What do you think? OK, board's round. The time is now. Tell them what you're going to do. We're going to run. Are you running? Yep, we are. I don't blame you. You've got the money, you've got the prizes, you've got the, you've got the trouser press at the end of the day, do you? You don't want to gamble that, do you? No, well done, lads. Been a good game. There's your tankard, there's your bully. That's for you, Jamie. You take the money, you take charge of that, Paul. Ladies and gentlemen, Paul and Jamie played a very good game. Enjoyed it, mate. So, what about Anita and Paul? We're lost at the end of part one. What are they going to do with their £271? Oh, here they come. We'll soon find out.
Right, you've been hiding behind the back of the dirt board. You've not had much time, but what are you going to do? Well, I can't believe I'm saying this the way I played, but we only get one chance, so we'll have a go. You want to get one chance. Yeah. 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 Absolute truth. Yeah. It's a non deck player first. That's you, Anita. You make your way over to the hockey. Listen to what Tony has to say. You come with me, Paul. We're going to play for Bully Star Prize Gamble. Come on. You need to just settle in. Take your time. You've all the time in the world. At your own pace. Here we go. That's 16. That's 17. And that's 7. So you've done very well. You've got 40 points. Good score. Leaving Paul with 61 or more, Paul, for tonight's star prize. The best of luck. Treble 20. Yeah. Down the side of the board. It's an eight. You've done it with two darts. 108. Well done. Well done. Let's have a look over here. Let's have a look at what you've won. Come on, open the doors. Woo! It's a Liberty Games that put on UK Games Room kit comprising jukebox and radio, six foot pool table, and a table football game. Come on! Get in here. You've got the jukebox, you've got the football, you've got the pool table. Plus, you get the money you won in the first two games. 271 pounds, it's going there. Bendy boys, darts, tankers, t shirts, games. We've won all! We've had a fantastic time! Join us again very soon, and remember, you can't beat a bit of bully. See you later. Yes.